all things come to an end, and it's never pretty. You know, no matter what uh, happens throughout the course of the season, you want to win the national championship. And Coach Beheim to get them there uh, consecutive decades, and to see these kids from the middle of the season grow and develop to the end of the season playing some of their best basketball was really, uh, like you said, electrifying for our campus. You know, to go over and and watch a game in the Dome with 30,000 people watching a basketball game is just an incredible thing. A lot of our recruits, a lot of our our prospects have had that opportunity, and they get in there, and I say imagine it with 20,000 more. You know, it's an exciting thing. we got a great great campus to sell and a great student body that, that hails from everywhere across the country and the world. And to get that type of dynamic uh, group together and fired up is a wonderful thing. And that's the beauty of the university process. But hats off to Coach Beheim and the boys because, boy, they played their butts off, you know, the second half of the season. And uh, I was just really proud to see the development of those kids. You talked about Coach Beheim. I'll ask you the most asked question at the Final Four. Will Jim Beheim be back next year? (laughs) Why are you asking me that question? I don't like to answer that question. I'm with Coach Beheim. Hey, because he's a little bit old, he's still one of the best basketball coaches in the country. I hope he's here for another 15 years. I love the answer. Very Beheim-esque. That was, that was great.